use Laplace transforms to solve the following non-constant coefficient initial value problem. So our coefficients are non-constant is t, t y double prime minus t y prime plus y equals 5 and the initial conditions are y at 0 equals 5, y prime at 0 equals 3. So to solve this initial value problem, we start with this differential equation and take Laplace transform of both sides. Okay, so Laplace transform of t y double prime minus Laplace transform of t y prime plus Laplace of y equals Laplace of 5. So we use the following formula. Whenever we have Laplace of t times some function, then the Laplace transform is uh, find the Laplace transform of little f, which is uppercase f, and take the derivative with respect to s and negative 1 because t raised to power 1 so negative 1 raised to 1 which is negative in that using this formula let's find the Laplace transform of t y double prime okay just to make all the ingredients ready so Laplace transform of t y double prime using this rule negative derivative of Laplace of y double prime and Laplace of y double prime is from the table s square Laplace of y uppercase y is the Laplace transform of lowercase y okay minus s y 0 minus y prime 0 and y 0 is given to be 5 so this is 5 s minus y prime 0 is given 3 now we take the uh, derivative with respect to s and multiply by negative so let me put negative sign here here we got a product of two functions so when we find the derivative we need to use product rule so derivative of s is square 2 s y s plus s square constant and derivative of y because y is not specified so we just write uppercase y prime s minus derivative of 5 s is just 5 minus derivative of 3 is 0 now we distribute negative sign that's negative 2s ys minus s square y prime s negative negative positive 5 in the same way let's find the Laplace transform of ty prime okay that is in fact minus using this formula again derivative of Laplace of y prime that is negative derivative Laplace of y prime is from the table from the formula that's y sorry yes Laplace of y which is uppercase y minus y0 and y0 is 3 sorry y0 is 5 and when we take the derivative of 5 this is gonna be 0 so let's take the derivative again we have a product of two functions so we need to use product rule here minus outside uh, derivative of s is 1 times second function plus s times derivative of y which is y prime minus this is 5 it's constant 5 and derivative is 0 this is same as distribute negative outside so negative y s minus s y prime s now let's put this everything here okay the given differential equation is t y double prime minus t y prime plus y equals 5 and now take the laplace transform of both sides we get laplace of t y double prime minus laplace of t y prime plus laplace of y equals laplace of 5 and we just found the laplace of t y double prime here laplace of t y double prime is here in the same way minus Laplace of t y prime is here. Okay, let's put that, put those over here. So this is negative 2s uppercase y minus s is square y prime s plus 5 minus. So we need to distribute this negative here. This becomes plus y s plus s y prime s plus. Uh, Laplace of y we are denoting by uppercase y equals Laplace of 5 is 5 over s 
Okay, in the left now we combine the like terms. So here y prime, y prime. Okay, we can combine these two. Uh, basically, we factor y prime out, then that leaves uh, negative s is squared plus s, yes, and factor y prime. And y here, y here. This is plus y s plus y s. So two copies of y s and minus two s y s. So we combine these three terms, and this plus five move to the other side. Okay. So negative two s this y s y s plus two y s. So we get plus this is negative two s plus two y s. And this three other side, so we have five over s already in the right hand side minus five. Okay, now this is a first order linear differential equation in terms of y. Now we solve this differential equation by finding the integrating factor. For we divide every both I mean both sides by this function. In fact, negative s square plus s. If you want to factor this. This is same as negative s out s minus one. So this is negative s times quantity s minus one. And five over s minus five, we can combine. Five over s minus five is in fact, yes, common factor, five factors out, one minus s. Okay? This is one, uh, one minus s. And this is negative s times one, uh, s minus one, this is same as negative distribute inside, yes, one minus yes. Once we divide both sides by the factors of this, which is, which is yes, one minus yes, is canceled, so y prime yes plus factor two out, one minus yes, canceled, so two over yes, positive. And this is here, five times one minus yes over yes, one minus yes, one minus yes, cancel and we have uh, 5 over s and yes so this will be 5 over s squared okay this is a first order linear differential equation in y prime now we find the integrating factor to solve and the integrating factor is mu of s is e raised to integration of 2 over integral of 2 over s ds which is 2 outside 1 over s natural log of s and 2 goes there so s is squared e and natural log cancel now we multiply this differential equation both sides by s is squared then the left hand side automatically becomes derivative of integrating factor and the dependent variable which is y times depend uh, this is the dependent variable times uh, integrating factor which is s is squared equals multiply right hand side by s squared as well, just 5. Now integrate both sides, we get y s times s squared equals entire derivative of 5 is 5 s plus some constant. Okay, And finally y s is divide both sides by s squared, we get 5 over s plus c over s squared. Now we take the inverse Laplace to recover little y, yt. That's what we are trying to find. So take inverse Laplace transform, then we get yt equals this is 5, just 5, because the Laplace transform of 5 is 5 over s plus c 1 over s squared, and 1 over s squared is just t. So 5 plus c t. We are almost done, but we need to determine the value of c. For that, we're going to go back and use the initial condition. So we have y05, y prime 03. So y prime 03. So let's find the derivative of both sides so that we can find the value of c. Okay, this is the answer, but we need to determine the value of c. When we find the derivative, this is just c, 0 plus c, and y prime at 0 equals 3. So 0 at 20 equals 0, so the value of y prime is 3. That means c equals 3. Plug this back in, so we get yt equals 5 plus 3t, final.